Well, yeah, this is a very typical uh, home environment. Imagine there's a four-person home environment. And we're trying to show you a comparison between Wi-Fi 6 network and Wi-Fi 5 network. So okay. We're showing you four very common use cases in the home. Mm -hmm. okay. First is actually, you know, you have uh, maybe you're watching uh, Netflix in a uh, family room. And uh, the Wi-Fi 6 devices are actually showing you a very seamless, nice video. The Wi-Fi 5 devices are actually showing you some... Uh, some Quality is not as good, it's some pixelation, some stoppage, and uh, there's a difference. You say, why is that difference? Because we're actually in a congested environment. Right. So let me move on to the second use case. Second use cases, right, all of these are running at the same time, right? We have IP cameras throughout your home, that's a typical use case. Okay. We also have two cameras showing you the, what's going on on the second floor, okay? Those two cameras you can see. Okay. And that reflects the, the activities on the, on, on the screen here. Got it, okay. So, so that's what those Lenovo's are doing. Exactly. So you, you imagine, we don't have child actors, but imagine their kids, you know, playing with their phone, watching YouTube, uh, both on a Wi-Fi 6 uh, network and a Wi-Fi 5 network, okay? And, uh, and third uh, use case, of course, are kids playing games, okay? Online games. Also watching a, a live stream at the same time, watching YouTube at the same time. Okay. Okay. So we actually trying to show you uh, through some indication here on the game itself the latency difference between the Wi-Fi five and Wi-Fi six. Okay. okay. So what is it? What is the latency right now? Uh, Wi-Fi six is one twenty six millisecond. And what is it? Two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty milliseconds. <laughs> wow. So there's a difference between the Wi-Fi 6 devices and Wi-Fi 5 right. devices in terms of latency. And that kind of difference in latency creates a completely different user experience for the gamers, right? Okay. Then that's the third common use case. Fourth common use case is, is actually, he's shooting a picture, is the difference between uh, like doing a large uh, file download. Okay. Okay. On a uh, Qualcomm Fast Connect. And all of these are running on the same network. All running at the same time, right? So, so that's why we're creating this congestion. Right. And trying congestion. to simulate this kind of worst case scenario. Yes. And also, also I think as, as the home today, being, to, being realistic yeah, about what people are doing. Bring more and more of these IoT devices into the picture. And these use cases trying to reflect that reality. And, and people don't really notice it until it until they have problems. Exactly. Exactly. Is it? Oh, my Wi-Fi is running great. Wi-Fi is running great. Until and suddenly, if I bring another device or two devices into the picture, then things. You know, problems start to happen. So this is actually download speed. You can see the Wi-Fi 6 download speed is much faster than Wi-Fi 5. And uh, this one is already done. That one's still trying to... And this is up. kind of that that last metric yes. of performance, right? Just raw exactly. downloads. And it's, it's very uh, close uh, related to the user experience, right? So people can relate to these kind of use cases very well. Show me 